Hi, in this video we're going to work out this indefinite integral we have x over x minus 5 with respect to x. So there's a couple ways of doing this. You can actually make a u substitution and um, work through it, but there's an easier way and I'm going to show you the way I would do this if I was just asked to do this on the spot. So I'm going to start basically by writing down the integrand. So we have x over x minus 5 and this is a very powerful technique that you can use. So basically it would be really nice if there was an x minus 5 here so you could cancel. So what you do is you basically just put it there because you can do whatever you want and then you fix it later. So if I put an x minus 5 here, um, it's wrong. I have to get rid of the 5 so basically I have to add 5. And so now what you do is you break this up into two different fractions. It's going to be x minus 5 over x minus 5 and then plus and then 5 over x minus 5, like that, right? Really nice. These cancel, so you get 1 plus 5 over x minus 5. Okay, so now this is easier to integrate. So our original integral is equal to two integrals. It'll be the integral of 1 plus 5 over x minus 5 dx. And now you can break this up into two pieces. This is the integral of 1 with respect to x, plus we can pull out the 5 here, 1 over x minus 5 with respect to x. This integral is really easy, you just get x. This one does require a u substitution, and I guess I'll do it just for good measure if that makes sense, but you don't really need to do it if you can do it in your head. You just have to be aware that when you call the bottom piece u, du is simply dx. This can be dangerous if there was, a, for example, a 3 here, then you would get 3dx and that's going to change things. So in that case, you would want to make a substitution. So if you're not sure, like if you can't do it in your head, make the substitution. So this is equal to 1dx plus 5. So dx is du, and then the bottom here is u, so this is 1 over u du. Let's go ahead and integrate. This is going to give us x plus 5 natural log absolute value of u plus c. That's a formula, right? This is going to give you this. And we're not done. Right? We have to go back to the original value of x, which was uh, x minus 5, rather. So u is x minus 5. So this is x plus 5 natural log absolute value x minus 5 plus our constant of integration, capital C. Boom. Really cool problem. Good luck.